welcome to another MXA video. As always, we have been busy riding, racing, and testing the latest and greatest bikes on the market, and we almost forgot about this footage we have on Josh Grant's 2005 Yamaha YZ300 two-stroke, the twisted development built up for Josh to race at the 2021 World Two-Stroke Championships last year. The relationship between Josh Grant and Twisted Development's Jamie Ellis goes back a few years. After Josh lost his spot on the factory Kawasaki team in 2016, Jamie built Josh a Suzuki RMZ450 that he used to score 7th place at the Daytona Supercross, a race that helped him get back onto the factory Kawasaki team. To further cement the connection, Fast House, the gear sponsor of the Grant family and the host sponsor of the World Two Show Championship also had stake in the game. They want to see popular AMA pros like Josh Grant racing two strokes again and they want their sponsored riders getting exposure at the race. So it was only natural that Fast House and Jamie Ellis would come together to put Josh Grant on a two stroke. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes on this YZ300 two-stroke. Diving into the engine, Jamie Ellis started with an Athena 300cc kit. He checked the port timing, he milled the head, and added a thicker base gasket to get the compression and the squish where he wanted it. Jamie also explained that it was a pretty straightforward build as any two-stroke would be. Jamie said that two-strokes are more about hard work than they are about theory. It's not just about raising the exhaust port to get more power. You have to move everything around. You can be two tenths of a millimeter off your base gasket and the power just isn't awesome and then go the other way and it comes to life. Jamie said that he actually found an extra five horsepower on the dyno after his first test day at Glen Helen. As always, we tried to squeeze the final horsepower numbers out of Jamie, but he wouldn't spill the beans. This was the first of two power secrets that he kept from us, and instead of giving us diner numbers, he went on to lecture us about the importance of usable power and the fact that horsepower numbers are futile unless the power curve is right. When getting into a two-stroke build, Jamie looks to see where the usable power is and then works to manipulate and move the curve. Jamie said that you have to have a good top number to make good power, but more importantly, you want rideability and a hooked up feeling coming out of the corners. If the peak power isn't broad, you'll get a small power band that is difficult to use on the track. For Josh Grant's YZ300 two-stroke build, Twisted Development tested a multitude of carburetors before deciding on the Lectron. Jamie said that the Lectron carburetor excels on 300 two-strokes because the fuel goes through a metering rod instead of an orifice and it actually atomizes better. It's arguable that a regular carburetor will have a better throttle response, but when you're dealing with 300s, the smooth lugability is huge and it goes over the top end better. For a 125, or a super mini two-stroke, Twisted doesn't use Electron, but they like it for their big bore two-strokes. The general Electron feedback is that it isn't as sharp and snappy off the bottom end because it isn't coming through a fixed orifice jet. Instead, the fuel is being let into the carb when the slide opens and closes, and because the metering rod is connected to the slide, and as the slide lifts, the rod opens and the hole allows more fuel in. The Electron learning curve is steep for carburetor guys, but it is easy to tune after you figure out the install height and tapers on the metering rods. Since this bike started out as a 2005 YZ250, it didn't have the amazing Kayaba SSS forks that started coming stock on this bike back in 2006. So instead of bolting on newer YZ252 stroke forks or using a conversion kit for Josh Grant's bike, Jamie Ellis and the Twisted Development crew put on a spare set of Yamaha 254 stroke forks. X-Trig custom machined the YZ250 steering stem for their YZ250F clamps, plus Twisted Development had to use YZ250F front wheel for the bigger axle that these forks have as well. Jamie then stole his Kayaba shock off his personal YZ250 for Josh's race bike because his shock has an 18 millimeter diameter shock shaft instead of the standard 16 millimeter one. As for the rest of the bike, Jamie used a secret test blend of fuel from VP Racing and this was actually the second secret when it comes to horsepower that he didn't let us in on, but he also added a Henson clutch, works connection, pro launch hole shot device, Renthal handlebars and sprockets, DT1 air filter, and Dunlop MX33 tires, but instead of running a 120 on the rear, he actually ran a 110 on the rear. On the same day that Josh Grant tested the YZ300 before Jamie found that extra horsepower, they were also testing with JB Covington of JBI suspension. JB knew that Josh would want his suspension setting stiff, 
and during their first days of testing Josh Grant's wicked fast speed down the Glen Helen Hills put a lot of pressure on the forks and shock causing them to blow through the stroke so suspension clickers they did help they turned them in quite a bit and that gave them an idea in the end JBI had to go a full spring rate stiffer on the forks and shock to provide the holdup that the YZ300 need to come down the hills at the speeds that Josh Grant would only be comfortable with. Sadly after many hours of coordinating developing testing and preparing for the big show Josh Grant never actually got to line up on his twisted development built YZ300 because he crashed in practice on the morning of the race and suffered six broken ribs and a punctured lung. Josh Grant's day was over after practice however his bike's day was just getting started. <laughs> Robbie Wageman, the 2019 World Two Stroke Champion, had come to Glen Helen to watch his older brother RJ race and to oversee their family's beef jerky vendor booth. And he hadn't planned on racing since the two stroke race was right in the middle of the AMA 250 West Coast Supercross Series and Robbie was only in town for one weekend. But one hour before the gate was set to drop, Robbie asked Jamie Ellis if he could fill in for the injured Josh Grant and the bike was not pretty. The shift side engine case had been broken in Josh's crash, the handlebars were bent and the pro circuit silencer was destroyed. With it, Jamie Ellis decided to JB weld the hole in the cases near the counter shaft sprocket. He straightened out the handlebars and replaced the pro circuit silencer with an FMF silencer. Thus, the YZ300 had a pro circuit pipe with an FMF silencer, something that we haven't seen in a long time. So how did Robbie Wageman do? Well, he went on to win the first moto, amazingly, and finished second place in the second moto to take the overall win and all the prize money on Josh Grant's YZ300 two-stroke. And when it was MXA's turn to try out this bike, we were blown away by how stiff the suspension was. However, Robbie Wageman rode it in the middle of the Supercross season, so at least he was comfortable with stiff suspension. For the MXA test riders, this suspension was unbelievably stiff, and it wasn't that the suspension was bad, it was actually really good when you pushed it hard and really laid down fast laps, but the suspension only worked well when you were going all out as fast as you could go. If you wanted to cruise and just save some energy, you'd be feeling every single bump on the track. As for the power, Twisted Development tuned the Athena 300cc Big Board Kit with its electron carburetor to an ultimate smooth power. It was a bit sluggish off the bottom end, but once the power came alive, it was incredibly fast. We could ride Josh Grant's YZ300 a gear higher through the corners, lugging it through the RPMs to get better traction. It didn't take any clutch work to get up and go, but it also didn't pull your arms out of the sockets. All of our test riders love the power of the YZ300, and it was also fun to ride a bike that had a pro circuit pipe with an FMF silencer. Overall, the MXA Redden crew had a lot of fun riding Josh Grant's and Robbie Wageman's YZ300 two-stroke. It was amazing to feel the smooth rideability of the power that Twisted Development built into this bike and really just admire the ultra stiff suspension that Josh Grant chose to race on and that Robbie Wageman managed to hold on to for two 20-minute motos to take the win and the prize money at the World Two-Stroke Championships. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you like it, check out more of our videos on our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click the bell button to get notifications whenever we upload a new video. Also check out motocrossactionmag.com for latest news, product tests, bike tests, and more. And subscribe to Motocross Action Magazine, the print edition, and get it shipped to your front door every month.